hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys i got a package sent to me from reina reverde thank you so much for me these products i am so grateful but i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to um show you guys what i received and i'm gonna do a tutorial um oh i know I'm gonna do a tutorial using some of the products that I received and yeah I'm gonna just quickly run through and show you guys what's in the box first thing that they sent well first thing that I saw when I opened were these uh, cards card from Regina which is the Reina Rebelde founder she is a Latina and that is just so awesome look how cool this little card is I opened it already of course but when it came it came like this and their little like, Reina Rebelde like tissue paper with their little sticker with their pinup girl. She's all tatted up. So cute. We have this little palette. And look at the packaging. How cute. It is very sleek. You can throw it in your purse. Take it with you anywhere. I really, really like that about um, the line. It's small. It's not huge. But this is their four play wet dry eye color. So it has some, it has a little, it's a little quad, these beautiful blues, which I'm gonna be using today. And they are just some really pretty shades. I have one ahead and I did swatch them, but I'm gonna be using them. So this will be the star of the show for today. They sent me this Lip Brilliance gloss which smells very minty and this is in the color Malinche. It's just a really really pretty color. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you guys right here. Look how creamy that color is. I don't know if I'm gonna use it today. The blue eyes with the red bold lip might be a bit much. This is the old lip color stick and this is in the shade Fresa. Like, roll it up and down. It's so cute that's what it looks like and here is a swatch how pretty I me mean, this little uh, contour kit it has a blush it has a highlight and it has a bronzer it is this and it has a little mirror so yeah i love the packaging on these so cute I'm in with my individual shadows that i have here I always forget the name of this one. Okay, so this is a Makeup Geek Shadow. And this one is Peach Smoothie. I'm applying this all over my crease. So oh, yeah. And I'm just placing this all over the lid, in my crease, just all over. I want that eye to be warm before I go in with those blue shades. So love the color peach smoothie it's really really flattering on my skin tone um i had a nice little tan i went to puerto rico in the summer i even i went to texas and i did you know a little bit of walking and i feel like i got some color there i live in jersey so like we go down the shore a lot and we spend a lot of time outside but i felt like my tan was doing good and I don't know, it went away really fast. So yeah, we're just placing this all over the lid so we're not just gonna go in with those blue shades in my crease and I'm just being kinda messy with this. But yeah. I'm going in with this Makeup Geek. This is also, is this a Makeup Geek shadow? Yeah, this is also a Makeup Geek shadow and this is Ban Wagon. This, can you guys, I'm gonna try to can see this is a this in my crease and we have no idea what I'm doing with this eye look I'm just kind of going with it my camera decided to turn off after I finished this eye but luckily I haven't done much to the other eye so oh. this all over my lid and now with this I, I decided I'm not 
cutting my crease. I'm not doing the whole like, you know, when I lay concealer down and throw the color on top. I really just wanted to use them as they are um, because it's my first time playing with these shadows. I just want to see how they apply on their own. And they are really, really pretty. Like, I just really, really like them. I like, well, there is some fallout, not gonna lie, but it's nothing like that you can't deal with. So, yeah, I'm placing that all over the lid, going in with a fluffy brush, and then I'm just brushing out, blending out the edges, and taking this we're gonna go right on top of that other blue shade and we're just packing this on the lid like so. Awesome. Awesome. So thank you for the blues, you know, don't get too cute. Don't get too cute. Cause you can it can look scary real fast. So in with a fluffy brush and I'm cleaning out the edges and then, yeah. Looking, I like how it looks so far. I'm going to spray some Fix Plus. I love using Fix Plus, it just smells the greatest. Oh, a lavender metallic-y shade. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And you just wanna work on one section of your eye at a time. I don't know if I'm gonna take this all the way to the inner portion of my lid, but girl, I'm just going to like draw out a line almost, like so. I'm gonna do the other eye with my finger. I just want to see what the other eye applies like with my finger. Wow, did you guys see that? Look how pigmented. And I'm gonna finish it off with the brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that lighter white shade right there. These colors are so pretty when you wet them, but when you wet them, girl, it takes the whole shadow to another level. I mean, they are the play wet dry shadow line. I can definitely see like this is uh, wet, this is dry. You can see the difference, like it is Wow, that's popping. I'm gonna use a bronzer from this little um, trio. So cute. I just, I already bronzed, but I feel like, like I lost some of my color. Well, wow, it's a very deep bronzy shade. So if you are fair, go in very lightly. Be very careful. It was very light when I went in, so they are very, very pigmented. Um, Highly pigmented, so if you're very fair, like me, oh my god, be careful. I'm gonna use the little blush. How cute! And highly pigmented, like I can already see it on my. Can see that, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit in the highlighting highlight shade right there. Let me swatch this. Very pigmented as well. Oh, you can see the highlight. Ooh -hoo! Perfect highlight for my skin tone. I'm feeling it. I really, really like it. I'm going to apply this to the nose, to all over the place. And I'm gonna take a small little brush. 
and I am going to pop this in my corner. That just takes you look to like new levels. For my lips, I'm going to use Stone by Joseph Colors. I love this liquid lipstick and I have a lot going on on the eyes so I don't want a lot going on on my lips. And that completes this look. What do you guys think? Overall, I have to give the Reina Reverde line a thumbs up. Oh, my top lash is glued to my bottom lash. Oh my god. I can't say. Reina Reverde line a thumbs up. I think that the colors are very pigmented. I love the packaging. Um, I love the way it came wrapped up. It's just the, the tissue paper. I think everything. I think all of that matters. When I order some my hair just looks so retarded, but it's whatever. Um, when I order something from my company and it just comes thrown in a box, it just really throws me off. When I order something um, from a company, which in this case, I didn't order this from this company. This was sent to me. Um, I didn't pay for these products, but the presentation is just there. The packaging is there. These palettes are very heavy. They are um, just well put together. I love the names of the products. I love that they're in Spanish. I love the packaging. Um, everything is just high quality. It's not like some cheapy, you know, makeup. It's just really, really nice. So overall, for you know, when it comes down to the packaging, to the product, to the shadows, I have to give Arena Rebelde a thumbs up. I really, really like the line. Again, thank you so much. I am so grateful. I probably said it like a thousand times. Times. I probably said it like a thousand times but yeah this is the finished result thank you guys so much for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to please subscribe